we got a little bit of a shorter video to do with you guys today, but in this one, we're actually going to be talking about the recent news that did come out that the Golden State Warriors have still not found who they want to officially sign for their last remaining couple of roster spots. A couple of different players here and there have been getting worked out and whatnot. Again, previously, I made a video talking about some of the guys that the Golden State Warriors were working out. There was like Hawan Toscano Anderson, Dwight um, Howard, you know, a couple of guys here and there as well. And in the most recent report today, it is being said that free agents Michael Carter Williams and Xavier Moon will participate in a private workout this week with the Golden State Warriors to compete for the final roster spot. Williams is a former first round pick back in 2013 who played his last four seasons with the Orlando Magic, averaging 7.5 points per game, 3.8 rebounds, and 3.2 assists. Moon has been with the Clippers organization the last two seasons between the NBA and G League and was last named up to the All Summer League second team last month. Now, this is obviously pretty interesting because I legitimately don't know how Michael Carter Williams is not on an, an NBA roster. I have always liked Michael Carter Williams. I thought not only is his defense underrated to me, but I've also thought he's a relatively decent ball handler who can play make and in the right type of system could go around setting some screens and be a decent rebounder as well as he is pretty tall. Again, I know he's not exactly that great as a scorer and he can definitely have his three point woes. But from what I believe, if the Orlando Magic didn't decide to draft seven point guards in the last two or three drafts, you'd probably be seeing a guy like Michael Carter Williams back on that Orlando Magic roster. After all, I thought he did a really solid representation for them, and I can still remember times where, as a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, our point guards would honestly get quite locked down by Michael Carter Williams because he's relatively a nice defender. I think where the Golden State Warriors sit, they're in also a similar position to, I think, the Orlando Magic, where this team already has a ton of guards. I don't see a situation where, I think, they sign him just based off the fact that not only do you have Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Chris Paul now as well, three dudes who are going to be playing very heavy guard minutes. You've also got Andrew Wiggins, who is normally more a wing, but he has had to play a much more forward minutes, especially at power forward, at small ball kind of role since being at the Golden State Warriors. Again, there's a couple other guards that they have on the Rossi too, like um, Gary Payton, who I don't really rate anymore. I thought he was really good in his last season with the Warriors, but he has been struck down with injuries where he could barely play for Portland. And then when he got traded back to the Warriors, I really don't think he did much. And I've been hearing some of these injuries are that bad that this could be career long. Again, there's a reason he reportedly failed his medical at the start with the Golden State Warriors when being traded back there. So there definitely are a lot of issues with him. Again, the way I see it right now, Gary Payton is a dude who's on $10 million, who don't get me wrong, a healthy Gary Payton is an extremely good player, a very good role player. But with how he played last season with a couple of the injuries, and if he's going to continue to carry on with those injuries, well, there's not much more he can do with those injuries that Michael Carter Williams can't, and he'd be $9 million cheaper a season. That's unfortunately where the Golden State Warriors sit right now. They've got an injured Gary Payton, who you really do hope can get back to his best and be relatively healthy for this Warriors team. But if they can't manage to do that and he comes out at the start of next season, injured or whatever, and they do try to sign someone, I definitely feel like Michael Carter-Williams is a guy who can fill in a very similar role to what Gary Payton is, of course, supplying with the Golden State Warriors. So in my opinion, it makes a whole lot of sense. I think that would ultimately be nearly the way to go um, if that did happen. But if Gary Payton is remaining on this Warriors team, there is really no point of Michael Carter Williams at all. I don't think they should sign him. And if anyone should have signed him, if probably Orlando was going to be that team. But we know now, off the top of my head, they've got Markel Fultz, Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, um, Anthony Black, like four really young point guards just chilling there. 
I don't think RJ Hampton's still on the list. If he's there, that's crazy. I know there's a couple others I'm missing. I've forgotten their names, but honestly, I'll probably just track them on the screen if I can remember while editing. They've already got like six point guards and guards on that roster. They don't need Michael Carter-Williams at the moment. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that develops and where he maybe potentially goes. Honestly, it could be a Europe League decide decision if he can't get into the NBA. But if I was him, I'd wait for an NBA team because in the free agents, he's probably top five, top ten available right now. So I'd definitely be patient. Again, there's no good going to a league like Australia because he just wouldn't really stand out. The Australian league is so built off defense. And just, again, that's really what Michael Carter-Williams is. I don't know why, but Denzel Valentine recently just signed with the Australian Basketball League, the NBL. And again, he's another dude who just is not going to stand out there. But whatever. Um, if I was him, I'd just wait for an NBA team to call. And who knows, maybe he does that great with the Golden State Warriors. They decide to sign him and play him at center. I wouldn't be surprised with them. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Who do you guys think should sign Michael Carter-Williams to the team? Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRL Slash Flying Channel, and my podcast. All of them will be getting linked down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.